Hello everyone and welcome. This is a quick demo on how to use the print screen button or the screen capture of your computer or laptop. What it does is it copies anything that's on your screen and once you've got it copied then you can paste it into I use Microsoft Paint. Free and easy. So anyway, here we go. This is another great resource I'd like to share with you. It's called the Interlinear Scripture Analyzer, short for ISA. And um, the reason that I like to use the print screen is to make images because we all know how difficult it is when we're trying to do a midrash on Facebook or something like that with a Hebrew font. And the alignment uh, gets all messed up and it just doesn't work very well. But when you make it in paint and do a screen capture from another website or something like that you can post it and paste it and save it as an image it works quite well also on the rest of your uh, uh, fonts that you might do in word or documents that you might write in word with hebrew font or a pdf or something like that you can also do a screen capture of those so let's have a look real quick here this is the interlinear scripture analyzer that I have downloaded on my computer. And as you can see at the top section up here, we have the verses that would appear in like the King James Version. The first line has the Hebrew font. The line underneath it has a, a transliteration of the Hebrew font. Now, Hebrew reads from right to left, so we see the Lamed and the Aleph, for example. And then down below it, we read from left to right, we see L and A. So, La, La. Now, this is your Strong's number. I don't use it. Um, you know, Strong's isn't really a translation. It's uh, uh, just not anything to put a lot of trust in. The best translation is the word itself used during the time by the original author. Uh, try to find a different usage of that same word by your e-sword or something like that and do a comparison. So here we are. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and press the print screen button and once we got that pressed then we go into Microsoft Paint and then once we're here, all we got to do is press paste, and there it is. Now, zoom out, go back home, select, and do a crop of the image, like this. Select it however big that you want it, and then press the crop button. I'm going to zoom back in. And go back to the home screen and this happens to be one of my favorite scriptures because Exodus 20, for seven, 20 and verse 7 talks about we're not supposed to take the word of Yahuwah and bring it to naught. Now uh, the translation says vain or vanity and that's fine you know but it's a bad translation. I'll just say it that way. If we take a look at the word down here, you can see the translation in this line talks about for the futility. There's a Strong's number, but the Hebrew font actually says El Shin Wa or Vav and the Aleph. So it's El Shua. So we're not supposed to shua the name of Messiah. That's pretty interesting. A little lesson to take to heart next time you think about using the term Yeshua when you speak of Messiah. So anyway, let's continue on. Like uh, you can highlight, do anything you want, uh, circle things. Uh, you know, shouldn't use the name Lord, I don't think. Uh, things like this and once you get it to how you want it then you just go ahead and you click up here and you go save uh, save as however you want it and uh, I usually save it in a JPG format a JPEG 
but you can do as you like and save it to your file. And then once you've got it into your file and you need to respond to a midrash on Facebook or somewhere else, or you just want to post it in your pictures on Facebook, then you just upload it or slide it in, and there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Use it. And uh, y'all bless. Bye-bye.